clause that we are going to do today is adverb clause of contrast. Now, which are the words that show contrast? Which similar phrases can be used in, say, simple sentences, and which words can be used in compound sentences? First, what I'm going to do is say in contrast. Say we use words in simple like in spite of. Despite, whereas in a complex sentence, we use <clears throat> though, although, even though. Even if, however, and as. Besides that, in a compound sentence, we use but, yet, and still. So, using these conjunctions and phrases. We'll be able to understand adverb clause of contrast and the conversion of adverb clause of contrast into simple sentences or compound sentences. Now, let us write one sentence in using all these words. In spite of working. Hard, he paid. In spite of working hard, he paid. <laughs> Then, in spite of is equal to despite. So we are not writing another sentence for that. In spite of is equal to despite. But despite is not followed by of. In spite of working hard or despite working hard. Okay, now, so these are simple sentences. Now we change it into a complex sentence. This is a simple sentence. In spite of working hard, he failed. How many verbs are there in this sentence? In spite of working hard, can anybody tell me how many verbs are there in the sentence? One. One. How many verbs are there? One, one verb. Which is that one verb? Sir, sir, two verbs. Two verbs are there. Which are the two verbs? Working and failed. Very good. Now, working is one verb and failed is two verb. Is the second verb. Now, can you tell me the tense of that verb? Working is in yes, which? Yes, sir. Time? Working is a uh, present continuous. No. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Present continuous and uh, failed is past perfect. Past perfect. Uh, simple past. Part of is used so. Failed, failed, failed. So simple past. This is okay. If we write had before failed, then it becomes past perfect. This is simple past tense. Now, is working. If you say that say working is in simple and present continuous tense, then in what is the Work form of present continuous tense. Uh, is I am working. I am trying to teach you simple complex compound. What is the verb in that? Am trying. The verb. Not am only trying. Am trying. So, am trying is present continuous tense. Only trying is not any in any tense. trying is used for present continuous past continuous future continuous all the continuous tenses only trying is not a verb in that way only working is not a verb if it is preceded by say am is are was were then it becomes a present continuous or past continuous tense so here simple sentence is a sentence which has only one verb and that verb is failed 
working is not a verb it is a present participle okay so keep that in mind now when we change this into complex sentence in a complex sentence there should be two verbs at least so in a complex sentence if we write do do can anybody tell me how can we rewrite the same sentence using do do uh, he paid do he worked hard worked hard he paid okay this is work is one word paid is other word and do is the subordinate conjunction so this is a complex sentence instead of do do also even do and even if can be written in place of each other so here do also even do even if he worked hard he paid now we are again in complex sentence we have to write sentences with however and as if we use however then what will be the answer if you want to write a sentence with however what shall we write however he worked hard he paid now here the sentence changes however hard he worked he paid this is how we are supposed to write i will tell you the rule what it is but however plus hard and then subject and verb we have to write if we use as then what shall we write using as if you want to if you want to show contrast with as hard as he worked he paid okay now here i am writing the sentence picture of it do plus he is subject plus work days verb plus are days adverb here it can be adjective also and comma and the other sentence we don't make any changes when we use however however is followed by hard that is adjective or adverb plus subject plus verb comma and other sentence in as what we do we write adjective or adverb plus as plus subject plus verb comma and other sentence okay so these sentence structures you will have to keep in mind for use of do however and as that is about complex sentence to make it a compound sentence we have to use but yet and still okay they almost mean the same thing so if you want to use but yet or still you can write the sentence as can anybody tell me what shall we write if we use do if but yet or still he worked hard but he failed very good that's simple he worked hard but oblique yet oblique still he failed now there is one minute difference where but and yet but that we will discuss later on there is a specific rule for using but and yet but we are not dealing with that just now so this is about say 
contrast these are the words that can show contrast and i wish that you note this we'll write one more sentence they in spite of singing well she get it when the prize quickly tell me if we use do this is one sentence that is simple if you want to make it a complex sentence use do do be quick come on do do she sang well she didn't won the do she sang well she didn't win the prize then however sir it won't come won pardon instead of win it won't come won she didn't won the prize didn't is always followed by root form of the verb that past tense okay. is followed by didn't don't doesn't okay, do not does not did not are always followed by root form of the verb however well well then she didn't win the prize if we use as well as she sang she didn't win the prize to so make it compound sentence she sang well but yet still she didn't win the prize now you may keep in mind the rule for do however and as they have a, a rule to be used in a specific sentence structure so this rule you have to keep in mind here there may be an error so you have to keep in mind for error correction this part you may note this down and then say we will switch on to the next topic after practice of two three sentences Okay, now. I will say the sentence. You should try to change it in the using the words that I tell you. Say, in spite of my strict warning, in spite of my strict warning, he went in that area. You can write down the sentence. In spite of my strict warning, he went in that area. Use do in the sentence. Though I warned him, he went in that area. Though I warned strictly, he went in that very area. Very good. Then, if we use however, 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 strictly. i want him he went in that area strictly as i want him he went in that area in that area then if you want to make it a compound sentence 
I warned him strictly, but yet still he went in that area. Okay. So I think you have understood the rules for contrast. If we do more of drilling, then we will have to skip some topics. So let us switch on to the next topic at our close of time. Now in time, we have to use a few words here. <clears throat> we have to learn the use of when, as soon as, no sooner, hardly, Scarcely, before, after. Okay, this too we will deal separately, but the rest of the words have specific sentence structures which we need to follow as far as tenses are concerned. When or as soon as plus subject plus simple past or present comma and the other sentence no sooner plus do, sorry, did or do or does plus subject plus root form of verb plus then plus other sentence. Hardly or scarcely plus had or have or has plus subject plus past participle. plus when plus other sentence so this is the sentence structure for the use of when as soon as hardly scarcely and no sooner now here i have written two two tenses together because the other part of the sentence can be in any tense if it is in past tense then accordingly you have to write the relevant verbs of the past tense. If it is present tense, you have to write the relevant verbs of the present tense. Let us take two examples to understand this better. But you have to focus more on when, as soon as, with that you can use simple past tense or simple present tense. With no sooner, you, can, you have to use did if it is past tense, who or does if it is present tense. Here always you have to use the root form of the verb. So no sooner is always followed by the root form of the verb just as we do with do does did. When we use do or does or did, that is always followed by the root form of the verb. Here the spelling of then is also very important. P-H-E-N then is to show time. Now becomes then. 
but here er shows comparison keeping that in mind in degrees we use th an so the spelling of then here should be th an and not en hardly or scarcely has to be followed by had if it is past tense have or has if it is present tense but here again hardly or scarcely are always followed by past participle so here we use the root form of the verb of simple present tense in in so here you have to use past tense here you have to use root form and here you have to use past participle we can revise that go went and gone so go will be used with no sooner no sooner did he go as soon as he went and hardly had he gone okay let's write one example so that you understand that better when or as soon as she went or goes out she met or meets her friends okay now you can relate this with the sentence that we have written with the sentence structure when or as soon as plus subject she went is simple past tense goes is simple present tense these are other words comma and this comma is also a part of sentence structure a subject here met if it is past tense you have to write met and if it is present tense meets then you have to write goes so that is what you have to keep in mind they should be in relation with each other one cannot be in past tense and the other in the present tense here the tenses have to be the same that's about when as soon as and hardly scarcely now if we use no sooner in the same sentence no sooner then no sooner has to be followed by did if it is past tense as here the subject is she so we will write does then she here always we have to write the root form so go out instead of comma we have to write then she met or meets her friends so if a sentence is given that when she went out she met her friends no sooner did she go out then she met her friends when she goes out she meets her friends no sooner does she go out then she meets her friends okay now if we change this in using hardly or scarcely hardly or scarcely is to be followed by had or here as it is she we will write has hardly subject she then here past participle we have to use go went gone and the conjunction that we will use is when she and the second part of the sentence will remain as it is met or meets her friends okay that is about hardly scarcely now you can let us revise the rule that no sooner is followed by did no sooner did she go out than she see if we write did no sooner did she go out than she met her friends no sooner does she go out than she meets her friends hardly or scarcely 
had she gone out when she met her friends hardly or scarcely has she gone out when she meets her friends present tense will go that is the order in which i have written okay let us write one other sentence now you say the answer when or as soon as he when or as soon as he wrote the last answer the bell rang or when or as soon as he writes the last answer the bell rings if that is happening every day we are just taking it as an example now tell me what shall we write in no sooner if we use no sooner in this sentence what shall we write as an answer No sooner does she write the answer. First, first you say with wrote. If, if the sentence is as soon as he wrote the last answer, if that is given, then we will write no sooner. No sooner did he. No sooner did. Did he write? Did he write? the last answer the last answer the bell rang when the bell rang very good when the bell rang okay now if we change it to in present tense if the sentence is as soon as he writes the last answer then what will be the answer bell rang no sooner does he write the last answer than the bell rings okay this is what you have to keep in mind if we use hardly then what will be the answer hardly or scarcely hardly had he not last answer had he Like wrote written. Written last answer. The last. The last answer. When. When. The bell rang. And if it if it is present tense, then hardly had has has he written the last answer when the bell rings. Okay. This is what you have to keep in mind. now besides that say for before and after okay we will write one rule say when i reach the station comma the train had left if we use before in this sentence before i reach the station the train had left before i reach the station the train, the train has left had left had left will remain as it is if we use after then i reached the station after the train and left so the rule is that when or before plus 
which tense is this simple past and the other is past perfect okay when or before are followed by simple past tense and when we change it the other part is past perfect and for after what is the rule that simple past after and past perfect here say you for use of before and after what you have to keep in mind the tense sequence when or before are followed by simple past tense and the other part will be past perfect tense after is followed by past perfect tense and the other part whether it is in before or after but after we have to after after we have to write past perfect and the other tense will be simple past tense okay this is the rule now you may keep this in mind you may note down the rule if need be and then we will switch on to the next topic there is adverb clause of manner or reason ओके से यू डोंट नीड टू राइट डाउन दिस विल बी सेंट इन द ग्रुप हमने सर इज क्लिकिंग द पिक्चर्स सर लास्ट रूल रिपीट करो पार्डन सर लास्ट रूल रिपीट करो ना व्हेन व्हेन लास्ट रूल इज दैट व्हेन और बिफोर आर फॉलोड बाय सिंपल पास्ट टेंस एंड द अदर सेंटेंस विल बी इन पास्ट परफेक्ट whereas if we use after then after is followed by past perfect tense and the other sentence with it will be in simple past tense Taking too much time to rub this, getting rub easy. Mm -hmm. The pen ink is too strong; it sticks to the. Easy board, easy board. Here, here, here. 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 ओके So now we shall turn to the next topic. That is adverb clause of manner and reason. Let us start with reason. What is this reason about? Which are the words that show reason? Because. Because. Since. Or as. Because. any other words that show reason that 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 so okay then this is this we also use since because as are used in complex sentences these are used in then in a simple sentence in a simple sentence to show reason we use 
on account of because of owing to and due to and in a compound sentence these four are for a simple sentence and in a compound sentence we use and so or and therefore when we use and so or and therefore it becomes a double clause of result reason and result are always in combination with each other say what comes first reason or result reason reason is always first the result is afterwards right say he worked hard and he got good marks what is the result in this getting marks. good marks yes. good marks he got good marks is the result and the reason for that is he worked hard now there was one philosopher jacques derrida he say upturned the whole philosophy of the reason and result and he gave all together many a times the reason is first most of the time the reason is first but say sometimes the result is first and say of course say he was questioned and he gave a very odd kind of an reason for that the reason was that while you are asleep and if say a um, mice bites you mouse bites you then what will happen you will scream first so he screamed what happened first first the mice bit you and then you scream the reason is first but while you are asleep what is what will come first to your notice the scream so he screamed that is say the reason and then you get to know the that is the result but you get to know the reason afterwards and then say but most of the time we are conscious and then he says that it is our illusion that we are conscious most of the time we are unconscious most of the time we get to know the result and then we think of the reasons isn't it true most of the time we the result is in front of us then we think that why this happened if you had scored say 99.99 percentile marks in your 12 standard exams then the equation of life would have been different for you but it is not so but you think about the reasons for that later on after the result is out you think about the reason that why this happened and you are wise enough to understand what the reason is so for this exam don't do it you know that you want to succeed in the exam that you are preparing for prepare well think about all the things that can be done to be a master and be at the first ranker and don't spare any pains to succeed in the exams tok ma a pariksha ma evu no dhava deta safal dhava mate tame excuses na aapta કે પછી કારણો વિચાર્યા કે કે શું કામ આવું થયું આપણે વિચારું નથી પહેલેથી નક્કી કરો કે આમાં આપણે ફર્સ્ટ રેન્ક લાવવો છે એન્ડ ડુ ધ થિંગ્સ ઇફ યુ ટ્રાય યુ કેન ડુ ઇટ ઓકે ઇફ આઈ ટ્રાય ટુ ડ્રોપ ધીસ પેન ધેન ઇટ ડ્રોપ્સ યુ ડોન્ટ હેવ ટુ ટ્રાય ઇટ હેપન્સ ઇન ધેટ વે ઇફ યુ ટ્રાય ટુ સક્સીડ ઇન ધીસ પર્ટિક્યુલર થિંગ યુ વિલ શ્યોરલી સક્સીડ સો લેટ અસ ગો અહેડ વિથ ધીસ યુઝ ઓફ this are used in a compound sentence have let, let us write the sentences that since or as he work hard he got the first rank if we use because what will be the answer he got good marks the first rank because he worked 
he got the first rank because he worked hard now these two are complex sentences and the verbs are worked and got okay two verbs are there and the sentence form using conjunctions since as and because which are subordinate conjunctions you form a complex sentence if we use on account of because of owing to and due to then it becomes a simple sentence in a simple sentence there should be only one verb so either work we have to change it into a non verb or got into a non verb let us see how we do it the rule for on account of going to because here is the same for this three we can write the same sentence that on account of because of going to is working hard he got the first Ren, how many verbs are there in this sentence? Only one. Which is that one, one verb? Which is that one verb? Got. Yeah. Got. Oh, got. Got. Got is the only verb. Working is present participle, as we had discussed earlier. That this is not a verb; it is a present participle. Verbs have tenses. If you cannot identify the tense and the on looking at the form of the verb then that is not a verb for you or it's not a finite verb if we use due to then the rule for due to is that due to is always used in the middle of the sentence that is one rule the other rule for due to is to be is used before it these two rules are there for use of due to due to is always used in the middle of the sentence second thing to be is to be form of the verb which are the to be form of the verb am is are was were is used before due to due to is always preceded by to be verb due to ni pehla hamesha am is are was were are now form using due to we are forming what kind of a sentence a simple sentence so in a simple sentence how many words are there one word which should be that verb to be verb so here two verbs are given we have to element both the verbs to make it a simple sentence using due to let's see how we do it so he will become his working hard was due to he will again become his what will become getting the first rank okay so his working hard was due to sorry 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 he on account of his working hard his working hard was due to the sentence has been reversed i have reversed the sentence is getting the is getting the first rank was due to is working hard okay this is how we do it here that got is changed into getting sir. work is changed into working yes sir so can, can we, we can we change here? due to due to his hard working he got good marks 
now the rule is due to is always used in the middle of the sentence okay at many places you will find that a sentence begins with due to but that is wrong english you are always supposed to use due to in the middle of the sentence okay sir so you cannot begin a sentence with due to to make it easy to write you have to change both the sides if you want to use due to and for and so and and therefore the answer is very simple that he worked hard and so or therefore he got the first rank okay now here we don't need to write down rules for this from the sentence you will be able to infer the rule let us write one more example that since or as now here again let me tell you that since or as always emphasize the reason so since or as are always used in the beginning of the sentence if you want to emphasize the reason you have to use say since or as goil dharmaraj wants to join the meeting what should i do good yeah deny admit okay so since or as are always used in the beginning of the sentence due to is always used in the middle of the sentence so since or as she sir yes sir uh, we have written here uh, to be is uh, to be is used before due to so where is this application in the sentence this is was was is a to be verb to be verb okay 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 to be verb to be here means m is our was were to be verb we have to use before due to okay since or as she fell down she did and come to school since or as she fell down she didn't come to school use because in the sentence she didn't come to school because she fell down if we this two are complex sentences now let us make compound sentences what is the compound sentence use and so or and or and therefore what will be the answer she fell down and so she didn't come to school okay now if we make it a simple sentence what will be the answer on account of going to and because of okay this if we want to use then what will be the answer her falling down On, on account of falling down she didn't uh, came to school down she didn't come to school 
Now we are say on account of going to because of we have to use in the middle of the sentence. Then it will sound better. So you have to write she didn't come to school because of on account of going to her falling down. And if we use due to then. Her not coming to school was due to her falling down. Okay, her not coming to school was due to her falling down. This didn't come will become. Not coming to when we change it to a non-verb. This is all about say simple complex compound as far as the reason is concerned. Okay. Now you can say note this down. Our minister will send you the picture of this. Okay, so this was about say we did three clauses today. You revise these rules now. Adverb clause of manner we will do later on because that in that we will have to do uh, degrees because there are degrees have adverbs. Adverbs have degrees. Good, 